Hello, my little fair ladies and little fair men. How are you? It's lovely to see you, your bright, sparkly eyes and bright faces, all eager to listen to the story. I'm as eager and happy to see you and read the story to you. How have you been? Are you enjoying the winters? Well, I am with hot beverages. Mm. So, the story's name is The Bowl of Bread and Milk. Mm. And it says, Someone had put a bowl of bread and milk out into the garden. A bowl of milk and bread. Milk, mind you, it's not an ad, bread into the garden. Why? Because little Angelina Brown would not eat her breakfast, so it had been taken away from her and put outside. Yeah, little Angelina had misbehaved and said no to her breakfast. So it had been put outside, so at least somebody would be able to eat, eat it. Do you think it's the right thing to waste your food? Mm -mm. The black bird saw it first and cocked his head right and left. Why did it do that? So to make sure that no one was around. Tup two, tup two, he sang. Tup two, what a lovely feast. And he flew down to have some. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Then the tiny mouse who lived under the tool shelf smelled a tiny mouse and popped his head out. He's also looking out because he has to save his life. Hmm? Squeak, 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 squeak. Ah, who's this? Squeak, squeak, the mouse. He popped his head out. What a lovely feast. And he ran over to the board. Okay, then who should some scuttling by, scuttling by, but the hedgehog. You know what a hedgehog is? Yes, it's a small animal. What does it have all around its body? Yes, my bright little ladies and small gentlemen. Yes, spikes, spines, needles. He certainly saw the bread and milk and he stood still in the line. <gasps> He was like this when he saw the bowl of milk and bread. Oh, he said, what a lovely, what a lovely feast. Oh, he ran to the bowl and they met the blackbird and the mouse. Go away, cried the blackbird, pecking the mouse with his strong yellow beak. He had a strong yellow beak and he's pecking him, right? Kind of biting him on his. This is my bread and milk. You go away, squeaked the mouse. And I'm sure I saw this first. It's mine, you greedy black bird. It's not yours or the black bird, said the hedgehog, putting his snout over the edge of the boot. Oh, it's mine, so go away, both of you. I'm very hungry this morning, so I shall finish this all up. So here they are, the three of them facing each other and fighting the mouse, porcupine, hedgehog, and the blackbird with a yellow beak. Hmm. Then the blackbird made an angry noise and flew at him. She pecked him on his nose and the hedgehog fell over onto the mouse. As you saw in the picture, the ball of spines is falling on the little mouse, pricking him with his spines. He got hurt. The mouse squeaked, squeak, squeak, and fried and nibbled one of the feathers, nibbled one of the feathers of the blackbird's tail, blackbird's tail. Go away, shouted the blackbird. This is my bread and milk. Go away, cried the hedgehog. This is my bread and milk. Go away, 
squeaked the mouse, this is my bread and mail. But none of them would go away. Do you think they would go away? Or they could have done something else. Do you have any suggestions? Write to me. Message me right now. That'll be fun. But none of them would go away. And they chase each other all around. Choo, 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 choo. Quick, 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 quick. Wow. Making a most tremendous noise. Choo, choo, choo. Not very far away on top of the garden was whiskers. Can you get who could whiskers be? Who have whiskers, the hair on top of the upper lip, the big black cat. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. He was fast asleep in the warm. Excuse me. God bless me. And the big black cat, he was fast asleep in the warm sunshine. But too soon, the loud noise made by the bird and the hedgehog and the mouse made by them um, 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 woke him up with a start. A tub say he got up, he sat up and looked around. Meow, meow. Then he saw the bowl of bread and milk and three quarrelsome creatures, remember? Mm. And what were they doing? Fighting and creating so much of noise. He got up and stretched like this. You know how cats stretch. And then he jumped down from the wall and made his way slowly towards the bread and milk. Mm -hmm. There he is. The black cat and he's treading towards the bowl of milk. Yes, and let's see what happens. The black bird suddenly saw him and gave a squawk of fright. Eee! He flew away into a nearby tree. Then the mouse squeaked, squeaked in terror and ran away. He ran away to his hole, yes, and hid himself in safety and made himself safe. Then the hedgehog once curled himself up like a ball of spikes and spines and thorns and lay as dead, as if he were dead. See, so he, if the cat would touch him, that he would get hurt, but not him. Hmm? Hmm. The cat took no notice. The cat took no notice of any of them. He went to the bowl and snapped at it. Then he gave a purr of content and began to lap up the milk and eat the bread quickly for he was very hungry. So he very meow. He came to the bowl and started to lap up the milk and eat the bread quickly for he was very hungry. After that, he sat down and carefully, carefully washed his face, cleaned it, cleaned it, even above his ears because he was a very clean cat. So he washed his face very nicely and fell fast asleep again where he climbed back to the wall and went to sleep. The black bird flew down to the empty bowl and the mouse crept near. The hedgehog unrolled himself and put his snout over the edge. Oh, it's quite empty, he said with a sigh. Quite, said the black bird. All gone, said the little mouse and his tears splashed onto his nose. They were all so hungry. How foolish we were to quarrel about it, said the blackbird. How foolish of us to fight over it. There was enough to spare for all of us. There was enough for all of us to share. Only if we had been content, if only we had been content to share it. 
in peace and quiet and with big heart, with our fighting and quarreling, we woke that horrid meow cat and now there's no bread and milk left at all. So do you think they learned a lesson? It's better to share, which is caring. We will be good to one another in future, said the hedgehog. Yes, let's squeak, squeak, said the mouse. And as for that horrid cat, said the blackbird in a very loud voice, he'll be punished one day. The cat woke up and heard what the blackbird said. He leaped down and sprang towards the tree round the bowl, but no one was there. Now they had smartened up. Where do you think the blackbird went? The blackbird was at the top of a tree. The mouse was in its hole. And the hedgehog hurried to his ditch. Silly things, said the cat, and washed himself all over again to every sh show everyone meow, that he did not care what was said about him. So did we learn a lesson from this? Yes, we did. That we should not. We should not fight. We should share and also feel and um, be kind to others and realize that they need they also need things, they also feel hungry, they also feel pain. So if we are kind and we are share, then everybody can get a part of that and be happy and satisfied and content. So I hope you are happy to see me. I am so happy to see you all back. So I'll be doing it, the, the story twice a month now directly live on Facebook and I'm also reading every Saturday at 5 p.m. in collaboration with Scary Up Me on their group. So don't miss all the stories and all the fun if you right and I will be available on YouTube. Don't you forget click of the button and you all can Listen to stories, listen to them together with your friends, class fellows, neighbors, cousins. Yes, what a lovely fun time hmm? to be together and listen to a nice story. Tell me what kind of stories you want to listen to. So see you soon in two weeks. Bye-bye.